how long have you been a messenger? Oh, uh, four, four and a half years now, I think. Have you worked for any other companies? Yeah, I started in Boston. Uh, where in Boston? Um, well, I, my first company was, why can't I think of the name right now? Um, hey, Steve. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I can't think of the name of the company in Boston. Skycom. That's where it is. Skycom, sorry. My husband worked for Boston, Boston Bike. Oh, Boston Bike. I don't, I don't even know if that's still around. Okay. Um, and then, um, what do you think is the best thing about being a messenger? Uh, being outside the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> no bosses. <laughs> uh, what would be the, the, the worst thing or a disadvantage? Rain. <laughs> Um, I skate um, a lot, not as much anymore because I can't get hurt, <laughs> but uh, you know, I like to just hang out, just go to the park. Uh, I help my friend with his dog walking business, so I'm super into dogs, and just, you know, just life, chilling. <laughs> uh, do you do any music or anything like that? No, no, I used to be in somewhat of a hardcore band, but that broke up. <laughs> Are you looking for another band to be in? No. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> and um, what do you think is the main difference about maybe being a messenger in New York uh, versus San Francisco? Versus San Francisco? Uh, wider range of coverage. <laughs> it's a lot bigger, a lot crazier. The people are a lot crazier along with the drivers. <laughs> what was the hardest thing about being a messenger in Boston? I would think like the hurricanes and the... Yeah, the snow, snow, storms. Uh, winter time was really bad because drivers obviously get worse, the worst weather there is. And it's, it just turns into an apocalypse. It's just horrible. <laughs>And you're one of the founders, right? I am one of the founders of GCB, yeah. Let's go ahead and get that story. <laughs> um, a bunch of us came back from Tokyo. We've been traveling to Japan for three weeks to represent America in the um, Cycle Messenger World Championships about three years ago. And the jobs we've been promised upon leaving when we got back, of course, have been given to other messengers. And so kind of out of desperation and also kind of out of uh, being able to travel the world and see kind of messaging as a whole um, worldwide and kind of seeing the trends and how things were starting to change from point to point package delivery to retail delivery, we decided from desperation and seeing new ideas to uh, create TCB to kind of facilitate um, a change like that in San Francisco because we've seen it work really well in New York and in uh, like Berlin and various places around the world so I figured why not try it here. Great and how many owners are there? Uh, there's four owners of TCB. And how many messengers? There's 34 messengers as of right now. And it's full and part-time? Uh, that's both so I think there's probably 24, 25 full-timers and the rest are part-timers like students and various people that just kind of come and go. Um, we're really big on freedom and allowing people to travel and lead other aspects of their lives so uh, our staffing is kind of flexible and as people need work they can come and work and if they want to leave for a couple weeks to go to New York or they want to ride across the country or do whatever basically they can take as much time off as they want and then just kind of come back as needed and pick up shifts. But yeah we're definitely the biggest messenger company in San Francisco right now. <laughs> Somehow. I don't really know how that happened. But. <laughs> So what are your um, outside have um, outside passions off the bike? Um, well, most of my outside passions revolve really around the bike, but I, I race internationally on a, in a street racing circuit. So I do a lot of international travel to race in various cities and uh, alley cats and fixed gear criteriums and things like that. So the majority of my time that I'm not working is actually spent usually on a plane or somewhere somewhere around the world traveling. Um, my, my biggest hobby is travel, so it's kind of that's all encompassing at this point. We're really trying to promote a neighborhood based service as opposed to the old messenger paradigm um, of being like a downtown based, like financial, financial district based service. Um, we're really trying to go more towards like a local business, help, helping other local businesses and fostering that neighborhood and allowing brick and mortar um, local retailers to kind of compete on the larger scale with say web retailers and uh, other like big box corporate stores. Um, it's tiring. I mean, I don't know. I've been doing it for six years now, almost seven. So it's starting to take a toll. Um, when it rains, it really sucks. <laughs> and. Uh, I don't know, it kind of tires you out for like, you know, having like normal relationships and like kind of being a part of like everyday life because you get off work and you've been riding your bike for eight hours and you kind of want to just hang out, whereas a lot of people get off work and they're like, let's go do something. And you're like, I was doing something all day. My job is exciting. Like I rode 50 miles and saw a million things and now I'm ready to, you know, sit on the couch and smoke a jammer and have a beer. So it's, it's kind of a, it's a little bit hard to acclimate to like normal people's schedules as if you have a bike messenger schedule. And were you a messenger in any other city? Uh, yeah, I was a messenger in Portland for three years before I came to San Francisco. Great. And how was that different? It rained a lot. <laughs> I was soaking wet. Um, I didn't make it as much money, and um, it rained a lot more. The weather was way more adverse, but uh, it was a lot more mellow. It was a lot more kind of like low-key, laid back, not, not as much hustle and bustle, more like hanging out in the sun with your buddies, drinking coffee all day. <laughs> all right. Um, 
Kyle. My nickname is Burger Time. I'm uh, from TCB Curry. Where are you originally from? Boston, Massachusetts. That was, that was a hard guess. Yeah. <laughs> my husband's from Boston as well. Oh yeah? What part of town? Well, I grew up uh, mainly in Riviera, Massachusetts. So. It's from some of them. Cool. <laughs> um, how long have you been a messenger at TCB? Uh, I had about a year and a half now. And uh, where were you a messenger before? Boston. Uh, what company in Boston? Uh, Bread Runner Courier. And uh, what's the main difference about being a messenger in Boston versus San Francisco? Uh, the weather, the hills, you know, the people. People are a lot nicer here. <laughs> and what are your hobbies off the bike? Off the bike? Uh, <laughs> drinking. <laughs> Hanging out, I don't know. Hey, quick question, are we gonna get any money for this? Not for the casting, no. no not for the casting? But, but you, you, you never know what can come of this. All right. <laughs> I mean, you can tell we have a lot of free times on our hand, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, as of recently, I was riding down on uh, Mission Street by Valencia and uh, my chain popped off on the outside, grabbed my crank arm, flipped me over, broke my collarbone. I was out of work for about like seven weeks. Uh, I broke my hip working downtown. As of recently, my collarbone, I cracked a rib. So I got some uh, titanium in my left uh, hip. How long were you out of work for that one? About six months. Dangerous job. Pretty dangerous job, yeah. The worst thing about being a messenger? The pay. <laughs> Even at TCB? Sometimes. Because we work off tips. So you know you wanna wanna better, you know, make my life a little bit better, tip better, you know? I started in February of 2010, I guess. I used to work in Boston. I worked in Boston for like about a year and a half before I came here. There's a lot of people in your company that came to Boston. Yeah, we all used to work together. We've sort of been coming out here little by little, kind of like recommending each other. Uh, how many of you right now? There's four of us working right now, and there was another guy who came out a couple months ago and worked for us for a while. And uh, he was a beast, he was fantastic. But then he moved back to Boston to start a TCV style company out there. And uh, it's going pretty well for him, actually. Um, and what's the best thing about being a messenger in the city? Oh man, just the freedom, I guess. Just like, the, the most stressful thing that ever happens to me is that I have to ride my bike as fast as I possibly can. <laughs> I actually, knock on wood, I have not had that many terrible crashes. I've had lots of sort of little ones. I've definitely had some terrible stuff happen, but I've, you know, knock on wood, I've never really been put in the hospital or anything. Probably one of the worst things that happened was the time I got whiplash and maybe a concussion, but I never went to the hospital about it. I just got doored, and I wasn't wearing a helmet, but I didn't hit my head. But I got, like, sort of terrible whiplash, I think, and had a headache for, like, three days, and... Like, oh man, I fell, and there were, like, 20 people all, all at a bus stop waiting for a bus, and they all ran over, we were all trying to have opinions about it, and I was just, like, concussed and disoriented. I was like, I got work on board, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go deliver it. Um, I am an artist, I draw and paint, and I'm also a fire performer. Um, I used to do that in Boston as well. I live at this um, this warehouse in Oakland with a lot of local fire performers in it. We're like kind of major in the, the West Coast scene. Um, so that's pretty cool. That was actually how I moved out there in the first place. I knew people there from, from the, the fire performing scene. And what kind of fire performing? I'm thinking like the sword in the mouth. What, what um, I do, like? I'm a pretty decent fire breather and fire eater. Uh, and I also do, it's like, uh, the scene is largely about like spinning toys, like poi spinners and whatever, and I spin a rope dart, which is adapted from an ancient martial arts weapon uh, that's like, if you can imagine, like an eight foot long rope with a, a, a wick on the end that you light on fire and kind of will, like throw it away from your body and like bring it closer and wind it around yourself and just use like the centrifugal force of it. Mm, I guess... I don't know, I guess at first it's like credibility, like rolling up and, and being taken seriously despite being a girl in like a wildly male dominated industry. It's one of those things where like you walk into work or you walk into even like a bike shop and people want to assume immediately that you just don't know what you're talking about. You just are like somehow lesser. But then if anything that like that switches and once people get to know you and understand that you know what you're doing, you end up with more respect, I think, just for being a girl and doing it. In this city, I only know of, there's one girl that works for Center City Delivery and there's one girl that I've seen downtown but I don't know her. Does she have long blonde dreads? Yeah, Sarah. yeah. Sarah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, interviewed yeah. her for this Oh, well. nice. <laughs> she owns Push Bike. Yeah, 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 totally. Um, I imagine there's probably also a couple that I don't know about but the structure of TCB is such that we work like in the neighborhoods mostly and not downtown very much. So I don't really know that much about the downtown scene but I can't imagine there's more than 10. 
TCB. And how long have you worked at TCB? Uh, about six weeks. Oh, wow. That's pretty new. Yeah, yeah, pretty fresh. Are you part of the Boston crew that came over? No, I'm part of the Florida crew that came over. Okay. Um, were you a messenger in Florida at all? Uh, yeah, I did some food delivery work and, uh, yeah, for about three years in Florida. Um, what's the hardest thing about being a messenger in Florida? The heat, I would think? Um, yeah, definitely the heat. It's never below 70 and it's always about 100% humidity. What is the best thing about being a messenger in San Francisco? Um, I'd say it's probably the awareness of cycling. It's definitely more prevalent here. So you get a little more, root, a little more uh, room on the road and uh, people are looking out. As opposed to Florida, it's kind of a little backwoods. This is me on my bike. This is the car, T-Bone. And uh, the front bumper of the car struck me directly in the right ass cheek. And my keys pierced my shorts and my right buttock. And I had to pull a key out of my butt. And I have a really gnarly scar oh down the side of my right leg. Wow. That's probably one of my worst crashes. Can I just get that again? Because that's a really dramatic story. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure I get it again for them. All right. Um, I was going through an intersection once and a car T-boned me. Right uh, front bumper hit me directly in the right buttock and my keys pierced my jeans and directly into my leg and I had to pull my keys out of my ass. And do you have a big scar? Oh yeah, and the entire length of my yeah, right buttock, there's about a four inch cut where two keys just kind of stuck me. It's a good bar story though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are your hobbies off the bike? Um, off the bike, I am a, uh, an avid reader. I, um, I'm really into history, actually, Greek and Roman civilization. Kind of a nerdy hobby, but I figure I'm almost a jock when, I, when I'm work, so I'm kind of a nerd when I'm at home. <laughs>
total blackout of like six hours. So I really have no idea what happened. Neither do my friends or roommates. I just did, showed up. Did you wake up in the hospital or? No, I just um, walked up to my house and uh, I, my memory starts from a few hours after getting to my house. And my roommate said I was really out of it. I don't know what happened, but. Well, you seem to be fine now. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Trevor Bianis. Uh, I am one of the owners of TCB Courier. Uh, I've been with the company probably since a couple months after it started, about three or four months after it started, and I've been with it ever since. Um, I've been uh, some sort of management or a huge role in the creation of the company ever since then. Um, I run, well, I founded five out of the seven zones that we have, um, and I currently up until currently delegated all of them but now I'm passing them on hiring other management so that they can take care of my massive client load <laughs> <laughs> and how, um, how long have you been a messenger in total uh, beginning of 08 so this is uh, four years now solid four years the beginning of uh, January 3rd January 3rd 08 so this is like my fifth year on the road um, I don't know how long I can do it for much longer. Um, I know that since I'm young, I have the ability to uh, have at least another five years in me. So uh, I'm stoked on that. Uh, I used to do uh, bike building and fabrication, uh, like frame building, um, uh, welding, machining, things like that. Um, I'm learning, uh, I start Arabic classes next week. Uh, I'm gonna be, uh, I love, I'm trying to learn a lot of languages. Um, of course, TCB is my life but it's not really my passion. Um, I, I'm good at doing it and I love it, but I really want to travel and be abroad. Um, in March of next year, I, uh, I'm moving for f six months, eight months. Um, March 1st, I leave for uh, Egypt. Gonna spend four months in Cairo. I have a couple friends in Warsaw and Barcelona that can get me jobs, whether it be in a bike shop or a messenger company. And then, um, yeah, so my outside hobbies would include like traveling as much as possible, meeting people, uh, learning the language, getting immersed in culture. Uh, also, I do crafts, and anything handy, anything with my hands. I have to be, I'm a very tactile person. So um, the idea of, I know I can't paint a picture, <laughs> but uh, you give me, I can MacGyver pretty much anything. You know, you give me a couple of random bits and I'll make what you need. I guess um, January, of last year, maybe it was two years ago, I had to, uh, you know, real tough time in the company. Uh, we're really kind of small, but really stretched for resources as far as riders going. Um, it has to be two years ago now. Uh, I just started the Hate, uh, at the Hate neighborhood, and this is like the third district that we had besides the Mission and the Soma. And so I was working pretty much uh, 13 out of 14 shifts up there. So pretty much 12 hour days, six days a week. And it's hilly. Oh yeah, I, I know all too well. Um, but, but during that time, I had to move in a six hour shift, just like a six hour window to move across the city so that I could get back to work, working, working, working. I get a, um, my eardrum, I guess I had to get my ears irrigated because it's such a huge blockage that I literally can't hear anything like in my left side. Um, I get staff like MRSA twice in that year. I mean like just keep going. Um, I guess my toughest war story besides like, yeah, cause I mean I've like dislocated my pinky and like set it myself, you know, like while on the road on a busy Saturday night and okay, it's not broken, it's not broken, you know, let's just set it, you know. It's only 90 degrees, you know, that's all they're gonna do anyways. Um, but my most intense war story would probably be a couple months ago. Um, I, I always had teeth problems. It's a huge, um, it's a huge thing with the messenger community. It's so expensive. People have blown out teeth. Uh, I had five wisdom teeth. I got um, two years ago. I got them removed. Only two of them because they were so badly exploded and abscessed. My face was the size of a watermelon. Um, so I still had a couple stragglers. Um, people were gone away. A lot of stresses forced a hand to get them taken out. Um, didn't really have the time to do that because of everyone was so stretched thin that uh, it was 
came to a, like a head on a on a one Sunday. The night before, I was pounding Nyquil because I could. I got 20 minutes of sleep to work on my neck, my double on Sunday. I get on the road on Sunday, and it's just misery. Someone helps out, comes back. The next day, um, I go to a dentist, emergency dentist, that rip them out. Um, that that's I guess 10 minutes after the procedures. Like I schedule it for 8:30. I scheduled for the, the thing 8.30, get out of the, uh, my appointment at nine o'clock, and I walked to the manager meeting that we have because Chaz just got back and it was, everyone was out of town and things had to be really needed to be spoken about. So me, mouthful of gauze, just like three teeth ripped out, just clenched my jaw, just trying to talk. And uh, the next day I'm working doubles. The next day after working and getting three teeth, wisdom teeth removed, they let me keep them. One was completely below the gum line, the other two were, if you want to call them teeth, you know, it's just completely miserable and, but I mean, it's just kind of like leading by example, like every one of my, like the riders see that and they're like, holy shit, like you just, you had your teeth ripped out, not only are you at a meeting 10 minutes later, you're back on the road the next day working 12 hour days and like, that's kind of like one, one characteristic I definitely like pride myself in is that being able to lead by example and showing that, you know, you can always be a little bit tougher than you think, you know? You can always be just a little bit tougher, and like, it sucks when it happens, but that test of character and that test of will and determination kind of, I think that's what life's all about. You know, life is those little moments where you can, that make or break you and then you overcome.